What's up everybody, it's Lil D's Corner here. So today, we're going to be talking about the Baltimore Raven bringing in Justin Houston for a visit. And I, I like that move by them. As you guys know, I'm a Ravens fan, so I really like that move because he can help with the pass rush. But anyway, we're going to be talking about that in today's video. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, so first and foremost, like the video if you like it, and subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video, and yeah, let's get into it, guys. So the um, the Ravens are bringing in Justin Houston for a visit. He, he's a linebacker, and as you guys know, the Ravens lost, Ma lost Matthew Judon and uh, Yanni Hikakwe, so, and, and they lost to Hyde Ward, so they lost three good uh main pieces to the defense. Well, Jahad Ward ain't like the main piece, but he, he does do pretty good. He did, he did good in the playoffs against the Titans that one game. He had like a few sacks, something like that. He almost had a pick, but then, you know, he uh, I think he dropped it, and then <laughs> Tannehill got it, like came right back to him, and then he car started running, but then Jahad Ward tackled him and made him lost a lot of yardage. So, um, yeah, I, I like, you know, I, I like this decision by them, try, like, bringing in, you know, um, to Justin Houston because he has, like, that veteran mentality and he can help them, you know, with the pass rush. Because, for example, the Ravens haven't had really much pass rushers that have got, like, 10 sacks a season or whatever like that. So, like, uh, I think signing Justin Houston would help with that. And he, he, yeah, he does. He had, like, 10 sacks a season or nine. And, like, I so I really think signing him would really help with their sacks, like, the, their, amounts of, their amount of sacks. And it, and it would help with, you know, the defense. He would make a good impact for him. And also, as, as you guys know, they lost, you know, Matthew Judon and, and Yanni Higakwe. So, he can fit in with Tyus Bowser. So, you know. Them two will be a good addition. He he will be a good addition to the team, and he because because Tyrus Bowser he, he don't really get a lot of sacks, but he does get a lot of picks. He, he, he picks. He's got like four, he got he got like four or five picks last season, and I think that was really good. He literally almost got as much as you know Marcus Peters, and he's a cornerback. So you know I, I hope they can you know try to sign Justin Houston so they they can help with that you know sack percentage. And, yeah, and Justin Houston's good at, you know, getting the sacks. And, you know, he can probably pick once in a while. But, you know, you know that's not really his main piece or his main thing that he do that. So, yeah, I think signing him, would, uh, signing him would fit with the Ravens. And the Ravens are probably one of the best options for him. It's either them or the Colts because then both are – well, not the Colts because the, he was with the Colts last year. And but you never know he could but I I I just think he might sign with Baltimore because that'll be the best decision for him. So um yeah yeah I just hope they sign you know Justin Houston that'll be a good addition for their team. It'll help with their defense and you know also you know the Ravens like he brings a good mentality and he's a veteran so he can help you know with the other like Tyrus Bowser hasn't been with the Ravens for that long he's been like maybe like four years or five that's kind of long but still you know Justin Houston is more of a veteran so he could try to help Tyrus Bowser get better at the pass rush position and uh yeah it's really all I got to say about it and at like as like also um if they do sign him then that like you know he'll fit he'll like replace you know um Matthew Judon because he got signed with the Patriots. I made a video on that. You guys can go check that out um, after this video if you guys want to. But um, yeah, I, that's really all I got to say. I really, I, I really hope they can try to sign him. And I have a feeling they probably won't. But if they, they, they there is a possible chance because you know the Ravens don't sign much good players because they've only signed like two or three good players this season. I think it's Josh Oliver. Um, Sammy Watkins and Kevin Zeitler, them three are the main ones that come to my mind when they've, like, uh, like when I think of the people that they've signed, but and they, they, they probably have signed other people, but, you know, well, other players, but I just probably don't remember, but, um, yeah, that's really all I got to say, so I hope you guys enjoyed, like the video if you like it, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And I might make another two videos today because there is a little bit of some updates today. So, yeah, I'm probably going to be making another one. Well, I, I, yeah, I might be posting one maybe at 5 or something like that because I'm going to. Uh, yeah, so I just, uh, yeah, so, so, so you guys should just stay tuned for that. 
And um, yeah, that's really all. Just, that's really all I got to say about you know the situation and stuff. So j just have your notifications on so you don't m miss the other videos that I'm probably gonna be posting today. If I don't, I'll probably be posting you know probably tomorrow or something like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you like it, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And I'm out. Peace.